Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to look at five different electric cellos and how they compare with each other. We're going to focus mostly on sound quality, but also have a look at a couple of other aspects of each instrument. The five cellos we're going to review today are the Yamaha 210, the Yamaha 110, the NS Design, and then two unbranded cellos, one S-shaped red cello and one black cello, which I think are both Cicelio cellos. Let's listen to what these cellos sound like unplugged. Well, as you just heard, all of these cellos unplugged are pretty silent. So if part of your criteria of buying an electric cello is to be able to play it in an apartment building or while traveling in a hotel room, I would give any of these cellos a big thumbs up. Let's hear what these cellos sound like plugged into the sound card directly. <laughs> I think listening to these instruments through the sound card gives a better idea of how the pickup is set up within the instrument and not really what these instruments sound like on stage. Next, let's plug the cellos into a really high quality acoustic amp without adding any effects. <laughs> some reverb and make the channels as warm as we can.
So I've had the privilege of having both the Yamahas and the Ennis Design as my primary instrument at some point. So I could really get a feel for what these instruments are like to live with and what they are like on stage. In my opinion, the Yamaha 110 is definitely the most acoustic sounding of the lot. On stage, it's a very comfortable instrument and it's easy to sound good. The Yamaha 210 is a very versatile instrument and can be made to sound beautifully rich as well as somewhat more electric. The instrument was designed to sound tighter and brighter. Now I know tight is a very odd adjective to describe sound, but this really makes sense when you're actually playing the instrument because it feels a little bit more compact. I also find the sound of the NS design to be very versatile. Um, with the right setup, you can make it sound beautifully warm and it could also be made to sound more electric and it's really great for effects and playing at really high volumes. In terms of performing with the NS design, right at the beginning, I felt very unfamiliar with the instrument just because of the many physical differences it has. Once you're comfortable with it, it's really easy to play and it gives you an even sound across all the ranges and obviously for playing high freedom of movement. So the two Cecilio cellos I just borrowed for the sake of this review. I haven't spent any time with them other than showing it to you and playing them for this review. But I can definitely say that they are not at all in the same quality category as the Yamahas and Ennis Design. So in my opinion, the two Yamahas and the Ennis Design definitely have a superior sound quality to the Cecilio cellos. However, if you take the black Cecilio cello by itself and you didn't compare it quite so directly to the other three, I think it would sound pretty good. Um, the red Cecilio cello to me still sounds very metallic. Let's talk about pickups. So both the Yamaha cellos have got a piezo pickup situated under the bridge. Um, and both of these cellos have got a unique resonating chamber, which is sort of like a hollow area just behind the battery, um, which allows more vibration within the instrument to give some overtones and a more acoustic, warmer acoustic sound. The NS Design has a polar system pickup, which allows you to select the direction of the response to the strings. So on the side of the cello, there's a little toggle switch, which allows you to either select arco or pizzicato attack. In the NS design, all of the sound comes directly from the pickup, which means it completely eliminates wolf tones, it gives you a powerful range of dynamics, and has an even response across all ranges. When it comes to the specifications of the Celio cello pickup, um, yeah, I don't know, it just says, All the cellos use a normal quarter inch jack line out, with the exception of the red S-shaped Salio cello, which has got, uh, I think it's a three millimeter. It looks very much like a microphone jack, but it's slightly bigger. Um, so you need a special cable to plug this one in. Let's talk about batteries. So in this category, the NS Design wins by far, uh, because it doesn't have a battery. It is self-powered, uh, which makes for a really convenient and environmentally friendly cello. The Yamaha cellos both use two AA batteries and the Cecilios use one 9 volt battery. So with an acoustic cello, the instrument leans against your body and this point of contact is replaced by a chest rest or a chest piece in the electric cello. The chest pieces on both the Yamaha cellos are removable which is really great for spacking away the instruments and making it skinnier. Um, I find them to be an accurate point of contact at a good distance away from the body, which makes it comfortable to balance the instrument while you're standing. The NS Design doesn't have this point of contact at all, um, which is a little bit challenging about judging exactly where you're at with your instrument. I have a whole nother YouTube clip that you can have a look at where I explain the physical differences with the NS Design and any other electric or acoustic cello. With the two Cecilio cellos, they have sort of a wooden S-shaped chest piece that folds up with sort of like a cupboard hinge. Um, I found this to be the worst part of the cello because it's really hard and the end of it sort of pokes me in the ribs. Um, and I found it extremely difficult to balance the instrument while standing. 
Oh yes, and I also found that with the two Cecilio cellos, the length of the chest piece is slightly too short, so it's almost like the cello is a little bit closer than a normal acoustic cello would be. Let's talk about other points of contact. So both the Yamaha cellos have got all the necessary accurate points of contact. So your left hand shoulder and the two either curves or bottom bouts. With the NS design, it doesn't have any of these traditional points of contact. Um, obviously this comes with a lot of pros and cons. Um, I have set this out again in a lot of detail in another video that you can have a look at. On the Cecilio cellos, I don't really find the points of contact to be particularly accurate um, or comfortable. Um, however, the left-hand side shoulder for both of them are fine, and for me this is the most important one. The Yamaha 210 and the NS Design both have geared pegs at the top, which is really, really great. The only note to self would be if you want to change the string, you're going to need a little bit more time than with traditional pegs. Let's talk about size and portability. The two instruments that stick out in this category would be the NS Design and the Yamaha 210. So as a cellist, it is not unusual to have an instrument that is almost the size of you and basically weighs 10 kilograms in this flight case and is quite a mission to lug around. So therefore, when I started playing the NS Design, it made me realize it is quite a luxury to have a lightweight instrument that is easy to carry around. So even though the Yamaha 210 does have a frame, it folds up beautifully into a compact instrument that can be placed in its own slim carry bag. This carry bag is sturdy and well padded and inside contains a removable frame like this that fits over the bridge for extra protection. Unlike the carry bag of the NS design that is not padded and it doesn't have any kind of frame to protect the cello. The other three instruments all have solid frames that can't be folded. So size-wise, they compare very much to a normal acoustic cello um, and they usually have the same carry bag. Next category, price. The five electric cellos we're looking at all come in at a very different budget. The Cecilio cellos are around 10,000 Rand each. For an exact copy of it as an unbranded cello, I found it for even less. The NS design costs around 30 to 40,000 Rand, which is about three times the amount of the Cecilio cello. The Yamaha cellos are around 45,000 to 65,000 Rand, which is anywhere between four to six times the amount. So the price difference between the NS design and the Yamaha is not that big, and I definitely think that the NS design comes in very competitively. The price difference between the Cecilio cello and either the Yamaha's or the NS design is quite big, but I definitely believe that the quality of the NS Design and the Yamaha cellos are much superior to that of the Cecilia. My last comment on price would be, thank goodness there's such a wide range to pick from, because not everybody is a professional player that is looking for such a professional instrument. I think it is really great that there are more affordable options out there so that people can experiment and have fun and play electric instruments. Are these instruments easy to access? Well, if you're in South Africa, the short answer is no. All of them can be ordered by your local music store. However, most of the music stores do not have these instruments in stock that you can just view and actually buy on site. So they all are usually ordered from overseas and the lead time is anywhere between three to six months or more. Knowing exactly what your needs are for the electric cello will be a big deciding factor. If you are a professional player, either a brand like the Yamaha or the NS Design would definitely be the one to consider. Um, if you are a soloist and you're planning to play a lot of fast high passages, then obviously the NS Design would rather be your cello because it's just so easy to play high on a cello like that. If you are a student cellist or you're buying the cello for silent practice, then a brand like the Cecilio would be just fine. I really hope that this review has given you a clearer idea of how these instruments compare with one another and possibly help you make a decision if that's what you're looking for. Hi guys, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Please feel free to share and comment and subscribe to the channel.